Hello, and welcome to Pancake Plays. Will you press the button? Now, in this game, you have a choice. There's a button. There is something good that will happen, but there is always a consequence. You can always choose not to press the button. I thought it would be fitting to start with this choice, because it says you'll get the satisfaction of pushing a shiny red button, but it actually just launched a nuke from North Korea. As all my friends know, that would be a terrible button to press. So I will not be pressing that button, because I would immediately be affected. Why is it 50-50? I don't want peop- I don't want- I don't want a nuke to be launched from North Korea. That seems like a bad thing. This is a bad dilemma, but I guess it was good because a lot of people chose to do it, and a lot of people didn't. Oh! Let's see if I can move this up. Uh, will you press the button? When you die, you can have a heaven by your standards. Anything and everything can happen if you want it to. You will feel happiness, joy, and will be able to do anything you desired. But for your entire life, you will die. Before you die, you will be unfortunate, unhappy, unloved, and unlucky. So, that is a little bit of a tough one. But, heaven is supposed to be eternal, and life so far is only about 74 years, so I would do that trade-off. Alright, I think that was a good dilemma. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Will you press the button? You have everything, but... I think it's everything you don't want. So you have everything that you don't want. But that's a terrible thing, because why would I want... I don't know... 80 tarantulas? That would be terrible. But that would be everything. Yeah, that was a bad dilemma. I don't like that one. You are free to do anything illegal and cannot die until you are 100. Everyone hates you with no possibility of them ever loving you. So, you just have no consequences. It reminds me of, a uh, Kilgrave from Jessica Jones, where he can do anything he wants. He can just order it. And if, basically, he has no consequences, but everybody hates him for it. Everybody is just... doesn't like him. So, no. I'd rather have people like me. That's a good dilemma. <laughs> you get a free hat, but it doesn't fit. Now, it's Christmas time, so I just give it to somebody else. So yeah, press that button. <laughs> That's a good dilemma. You become a world-renowned author and millionaire. Every hair on your head and body must be at least one meter long. Oh! Oh, for men, that must be terrible. For, like, nose hair and ear hair. Oh, every hair on your butt. No, no. I would spend all that money on getting rid of the hairs. It's a good dilemma, though. You become a Jedi, but you can never watch a Star Wars movie again. Okay. I would always want magic. Always. If you give me... Yes, I, and I know the Force isn't magic, but it kind of is. And so, if I get the ability to do superpowers of some sort, but I never get to watch a movie again, and it says again, I can watch it one time. So, yeah. I'm fine with that. You get a sweet new video game, but the button is all... S you get a sweet new video game, but the button is all sticky and gross? So this button? Or the button to play the video, like, my Xbox buttons? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I can always clean it up. I always have wet naps around. That was a bad dilemma. Wet naps exist. You can go back in time and stop terrible things from happening. You can't save Jimi Hendrix. Eh, it's okay. I'm thinking the one life for the hundreds. I would save many other people. And I... Yeah, it's a shame that Jimi Hendrix died, but... I can stop a lot of terrible things from happening. So, that'll be okay. 
You have psychic powers, but the government was after you for research purposes. The government would be after you anyway. That's a natural consequence. And in all truth, why not just talk to the government and be like, hey, I want to be a salaried worker. So, sure, why not? Good one. Ooh, you can have the power of God and do whatever you want to do with it, but you cannot use it to help yourself in any way possible, and you can't keep someone from dying, and you can't kill any person that has sinned. Okay, so... You would be... The kind of God that would have to be entirely selfless and hands off and can't judge. Doesn't really seem like doesn't really seem like a useful power if you can't do anything that you want with it. I guess you could I guess you could... Eh, having the option to have powers at all, and then like maybe it just fizzles out whenever it you break the rule or something. Okay, that's fine. You can play every video game for free, but the one you like the most. Well, then I just pay for it. Because I have all that money I saved from all the other video games that I like, that I that I got for free. This is a bad dilemma. You and your friends can become any fictional character. Your memories of liking that fictional universe are erased. Uh. That almost seems like a benefit, though. Because you and your friends can become any fictional character. So I think it would be almost be beneficial to have that fictional universe erased because then you would be more in line with what your character would be. Like they don't have memories of watching a TV show about a different universe. They just know who they are and where they are. So yeah, why not? But I don't want to become any fictional character. I like being me. You'll know everything in the universe, but you're unable to tell anybody. Instead, you'll just you'll just weed yourself. That's no, that's stupid. Bad. You always have above average living conditions, but you will be you will live a boring life. Many people do this though. And what is boring? I mean, playing video games a lot. Some people see that as boring. Watching football a lot. Some people see that as boring. Having board game parties, some people see that as boring. Maybe that's a boring life to some, but that'd be fine with me. Alright. You can bring anyone you want back to life, but someone has to take their place. If I can choose, this is fine. <laughs> because I would just go through, you know, all the good people then all the bad people would go away. That seems fair. Good dilemma. Uh, you can be an airbender, but you'll be the only one in the world and your race depends on you to survive and bring balance to the world. So you'd be the avatar. I'd be the avatar. Magical powers for the win. You can breathe underwater, but you can only eat raw fish. So you breathe underwater, but you can only eat sushi. That kind of makes sense. Would I be a shark? Sharks are pretty cool. Would I be like a human though? Would I have like teeth made for eating raw fish? Nah, I don't need to breathe underwater. I can eat other things. Mm, nah, I didn't like that one. You can communicate with aliens, but get put into a mental hospital. That's not helpful at all. It's a good dilemma though. You meet the person of your dreams having a perfect you meet the person of your dreams and have a perfect wedding? Yeah, probably and. But they die five years later. Nope. 
Yeah, I will not. No. Nope. Nope. Will you press the button? You'll be Bill, be Bill Gates rich, but have nonstop bloody have a nonstop bloody nose. So, I imagine at some point you would pass out because the human body only contains so much blood. So, unless it was like a very small amount, but no, 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 I'll be healthy. It's a good dilemma, though. You can read minds, but only when touching, when, only when your heads are touching. Oh, that's kind of cute, though. That's, yeah, why not? It's gaining a power and having a, a drawback to it. That's fine. Ooh, will you press the button? You get telekinetic powers, but you can never speak again. Oh, so you'd be a super-powered mute. Well, how strong are my telekinetic powers? Are they based on stamina? Like, could I improve them? Are they very good? Are they just like... If I was out of shape, would they be pretty bad? Uh, I think I'll go with... Yeah, I'd do it. I can learn sign language. good dilemma though. You can see every possible path for every sentient being in the universe. You can't do anything to affect their choices. Then it's useless. I don't want it. Bad dilemma. You become internet famous. You can never make money from it. You can become internet famous for a lot of things. There is a woman who slapped another woman with a pug. She's internet famous. She's not going to make money from it. No. Good dilemma, though. You get the guy or girl of your dreams and have children that will be successful in life, but you'll only live ten more years. Oh, that does depend if you want... If you're thinking about... Like, what's your goal in life? Like, if your goal in life is about what you want to do, if you want to travel, or if you want to do stuff, then, you know, you wouldn't want this. But if your dream is to have a happy family and to raise, you know, those kids and have successful, your children to have successful lives, like to build a foundation for a successful, happy family, then you'd press this button. I do not have those dreams though, so I will not. Good dilemma though, good dilemma. Oh, oh this one's painful. And <laughs> oh, will you press the button is you can create money from nothing but each billing coin must be painfully pulled from your urethra one at a time. I would I would suggest making hundred dollar bills because then it would be much easier because each bill you know you just oh it, you wouldn't have to do it as often and painfully does not mean harmfully so I guess you'd be very conscientious about the amount of money you spend sure and you have a choice if you do so, like, if you just didn't want to do it anymore, you just don't do it. That's okay. Good dilemma, though. You get to be with a hot girl. You don't like her emotionally. Nah. Not into it. Bad dilemma. You have the fastest internet speed in the world. The only technology you can own is a 97 Windows... De no. No. Bad dilemma. Oh, this one is really... You gain a massive library of all works known to man. You gain, you gain crippling OCD and people who visit never clean up after themselves. 
So it's like real life, except I get a massive library. Okay, why not? All works known to man. That's pretty amazing. I'd be famous for that. So, I'd hire janitors, and they would help me. Good dilemma. You found the solution for world peace, but you can't tell anyone. Useless. Bad dilemma. You can no lo you no longer need to eat, sleep, breathe, go to the bathroom, blah 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 blah. But your remaining lifespan is cut by thirty three percent. No, cause like eating and sleeping and heck, even breathing at times is is a part of life. Like you you're like, Oh, I ate this great garlic bread and it was delicious and like you share a hot chocolate with your with your friends and you're like, Oh, this was great. So eating and sleeping or like having a great dream or something. It's it's part of it's part of human life. You wanna do that. So no. Mm, but good dilemma because you know, people people see it as a waste. You have a one hundred percent chance of getting into heaven. You'll have to spend a day in hell every month. I'm kind of curious about this one because it seems like it would almost make heaven better because if you had eternal bliss forever, eventually that would become the norm and you would, it wouldn't be very, it wouldn't be very blissful. I guess you could force bliss on somebody, but they wouldn't understand it. But if you had a break from that every month, then you could go and you'd be like, oh yeah, I remember, you know, the terrible things. And then you would go back to bliss and you'd be like, wow, this is so much better. So it'd make it, it would make the experience for you much better. So sure, why not? Yeah, good dilemma. Uh, you can enter any horror movie and actually survive like you've always believed you could. But seeing everyone else die sends you into downward spiral and makes you the killer in the next movie. No, I don't want to be a killer. Bad. Bad dilemma. Don't be killers. You'd be able to travel back in time, but you would be a snail there. No, I don't want to be a snail. Bad dilemma. You'll be the smartest person in the world and rich, but you never touch a PC forever. Meh. You can fly like Superman, but you only fly while completely naked. That, again, goes with what I've stated before. It's really cold the higher you get. You don't want to be naked. You want to be insulated. I mean, maybe, maybe Superman's insulated, but maybe he's not. Maybe it's really cold up there. No, I, I, I guess I would like to have the option to. So maybe if I'm a life or death situation, and I just strip down and fly away, but probably wouldn't use it that much. Good dilemma. All right. Oh, all of these are so sad. We, you marry the best person in the whole world for you, but you get cancer five years after with no cure remission possibility. Nope, don't want to die. And I think that was a bad dilemma. Because a lot of these are finding love but then dying. Okay, this one is good. Uh, I would like to leave this one up to any viewers. And I think you can always leave in the comments what you chose. Or just think about the ramifications of this one. So you can fly for any amount of time, but you are tragically afraid of height. This would be hilarious and terrible at the same time, depending on what perspective you are going for. So I'll leave it up to the viewers. And this is Pancake. Thank you for watching me play. Will you press the button?